Hey guys, it's a vlog time for another video here at a vlog. Um, there's a different tone altogether for this video because um, we're gonna be talking about a serious, somewhat serious matter that sparked a lot of different emotions in me this past week. There was a podcast that was released by um, Nas Daily or Nusir Yassin. Is that his name? Nusir Yassin. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Who is basically an Israeli Arab uh, YouTuber. Uh, you may have um, noticed him or you may have seen some of his, some of his videos. He's known for making um, one minute videos um, per day so he's basically a um, travel vlogger but delivers also amazing facts and snippets of knowledge and basically he's like a news youtuber channel guy i watched several already because he, he always pops up also on facebook or but I watched his all of his videos when he was in the Philippines. He was here for eight days. Those are eight videos automatically. And he also had a video where he talked about the Red Sea. Even when he was here in the Philippines, he talked about poverty. He talked about hope in his next video after the video on poverty. So it's really informational and basically it's like it's, it's, it's newsworthy, if you will. And he had a podcast recently. I think it was sometime this week with. Will Dasovich. And I want to play a snippet of that conversation here. Why am I pointing? I mean, here. So, you know what I think, Will? I, and I love this. Think? This is drama between us. I vehemently disagree with you, and I'll tell you why. It's I love it, dude. Because this is what it's all about. Nothing major has happened yet. When something major happens in your country, you will be forced to talk about it. If the Philippines right now declares war on China and China declares war on the Philippines, you're not going to go and make a vlog saying, hey, guys, let's play video games. I, I don't see it. Impossible. So you're a dormant. You're essentially, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're a dormant news channel. <laughs> you're like an inactive news channel right now. By the way, the podcast you can access down below. I'll be providing a link to Spotify where you can listen to the full podcast between Nas Daily and Will Dasovich. He was talking about social media and, and the effects of social media and the power basically of social media, especially in our country. That's why he chose the Philippines. Because I have to agree with him on that. We are a country that almost throughout the day we are um, on our social media platforms, on our phones. Not just phones, because other countries I'm sure they're on their phones doing other things. But when we are on our phones, on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of these things. And statistically, I'm not sure with the numbers, if we are the number one country who's into social media compared to everyone else on the world. But on a personal standpoint or view, I see it up front in myself and in other people that we are who check Facebook a lot, Instagram, throughout the day, check it. Hindi lang in terms of social media consumption, but even in production of content. The conversation really bothered, picked my mind a lot. Hindi naman bothered in a negative way, but it was a positive bothering, if you will. How did I get to this conversation, basically, is this. Nas Daily uh, brought up the ABS-CBN um, contract renewal which we learned a couple of days ago or a week ago was not approved the renewal was denied by Congress with a landslide of votes a couple of um, people who weren't who didn't vote due to uh, a conflict of interest and just a few who voted for the renewal to be approved. Uh, this, of course, caused the shutdown of ABS-CBN and the denial of their contract. Uh, ABS-CBN, for those who don't know, uh, basically those who are not in the Philippines, is a major broadcasting network here, which provides entertainment, 
news, sports. Caution to this is, is really on so many aspects and levels. I mean, I have several thoughts about this, but these are the brutal facts. The facts are there were several um, violations that ABS-CBN uh, incurred, and therefore um, these were also brought into light during this um, process. Although the process in itself may be uh, a bit questionable, but throughout the 12 hearings that Congress had, they made a decision to not grant the renewal of abs -CBN. So why does this spark the conversation between Nas Daily and Will Dasovich? Basically, the conversation was saying that Will essentially, and this is not to put Will on the spotlight, it was actually more of Will being a representation of those of us, I'm saying myself included, people who create and people who come up with content on YouTube and all of these things, all of these platforms. We are essentially, what, he, what Nas was saying, was a, is a dormant news channel. And the reason for the dormancy is because there's nothing big that happened or that has happened yet for us to go out and make news. And he was making a good point that, for example, war breaks out or an earthquake happens in our country. We won't, I hope I won't be there making a video about, you know, Extraction 2, that you should watch it. Even in this pandemic, you know, I was making, I started making this channel and it was, there was a struggle within me. I'm making videos about entertainment. At the same time, there's a pandemic that's happening. Shouldn't I, shouldn't I be talking about this more than this? I like what Will also state, said in this podcast, that it's not a wrong thing to aspire to, giving happiness, joy, and I, I get where he's coming from, I really do. You want to emit a positive emotion to your audience. When we think about news, it's the negative side that you always, you know, hear. Like right now, during this pandemic, all I hear are the numbers of, the numbers of death numbers of those infected it's it's a downer i love the vision of nasty and somewhat the challenge that he set out in this particular podcast because he was imploring i'm not an expert at news i did not take up journalism as a major but there's a challenge to showcase and give you the hard-hitting facts. And I get where Will is coming from, where when we talk about politics, when we talk about news, there will always be a certain group of people or a number of people who will not agree with you. That is something that hindi natin pwedeng pigilan dahil meron talaga mangyayari na may mga grupo na hindi mag agree sa mga sinasabi ko in terms of how I view a certain topic. But that does not stop me from showing you first the facts, the things that occurred and happened. And then you approach it with your own grain of salt. It doesn't necessarily mean that because we don't see eye to eye, you can't listen and you can't benefit from hearing out what is happening. I just got so inspired and something was awoke in me to make this video as also a challenge to myself and a challenge to others. I'm not changing my content. I'm also going to be providing entertainment uh, videos about uh, movies and the like, television shows on Netflix, things that you can watch, updates about the latest in terms of entertainment. But then I also want to start giving current events that involve you and me. And here's the thing, with, with YouTubers, kasi, we have our own niche, if you will, our own specific direction for our content. But it doesn't mean when the time comes and when we, want, when we have something that we feel our circle of people need to hear. And that's the reality. I have like 140 
plus um, subscribers and I feel like I owe it to you guys who watch to hear these things and be updated with what's going on. That's all for this video here at A Vlogs. Don't forget to make every day into an adventure. Yes.